I'm joined stream. today by Yasir, one of our passing OET students here at Swish English. How are you today, sir? I'm fine. How, are you? how about you? I'm very well, thanks. So Yasir, can you tell us about how you feel regarding your OET preparation passing? Well, it was a very tough journey and uh, especially when it was stricken by COVID pandemic. So it was very nerve wracking because the tests kept on getting delayed and it got, kept on getting deferred. So it was a hell of a task because initially I got subscribed because I was referred to swoosh uh, by my one of my friends. So mm -hmm. I looked a few websites, but uh, swoosh was the better option amongst them. Fantastic. So once I subscribed, I studied the online preparatory course that they had. I began from the writing subscription. And as uh, they mentioned, stepwise, uh, I started writing. I think I wrote a very, I started to write very fine. But uh, my tests kept on getting deferred. So that was a bit uh, difficult time because I thought I had prepared well using the format that you had in the uh, lectures corner mm -hmm. and um, since but i kept on using and i kept on using the material and the case notes that were available on the website and uh, i think that your writing subscription is fantastic because they are very rapid and uh, very responsive because uh, and in addition they answer to every query and they usually respond within 24 hours which is the best thing Thank and you. their uh, marking is spot on, I must say. It is very much accurate to the real uh, exam uh, scoring. So it was a very helpful thing for me and not only me, but also for my wife who also uh, used the same subscription and also scored four Bs. Uh, her result was out today. So that's a double thumbs up for you guys. Fantastic. I'm really happy to hear that not only did we have two, one passing student, but two passing students would be in their OET. And I'm very happy to hear about um, how you found our writing corrections, especially very useful. We do pride ourselves in getting those, the feedback uh, of very high quality and very quickly back to the students as well. So that's great. Yes, there is no, uh, no doubt. Uh, but I usually got my test uh, writing subscription mark from your teachers, one of the teachers named Kendall. So uh, I must thank her. I don't know her, but I must thank her that she was very supportive. And as I've said that uh, in less than 24 hours, she would correct my letter and send me. And if there were any follow-up questions, she would answer them as well. So she was very helpful and all thanks to her. And uh, I also attended a few uh, speaking sessions. Initially, I had no idea absolute at all how the speaking test was conducted and uh, what they required of me. So I attended a few speaking tests as well, but unfortunately since my tests got deferred, so I didn't got the chance because, I, because of my busy, busy work schedule. But uh, those initial few classes um, just laid the foundation of my speaking and I scored a 413 speaking. So Fantastic. also I don't know the name of the teacher, but hats off to her as well. Oh, that's great to hear. Uh, we've got a variety of teachers. I'm going to pass on my uh, recommendations to every single one of them. They seem to have all done a great job. So I assume then that writing was your biggest challenge for your OET preparation. Yes, writing was the biggest challenge for me. And uh, I think that uh, because I initially took IELTS twice mm -hmm. and I scored six for five uh, band every time. So I was very much worried because... Uh, since I'm from Pakistan and I always wanted to appear in OET, but one of the hurdles in uh, appearing in the OET exam was that it was not conducted in Pakistan. Mm -hmm. So once it was conducted in Pakistan, I wanted to prepare uh, best and I, I wanted to clear in, it in the very first attempt. So I was very much worried about my writing test because initially I had, so, uh, let's say, failed in uh, twice attempts. Mm -hmm. So I, I've heard that it is uh, more... Uh, your profession-based exam. So, but I had no idea, absolutely. So your, all the lectures, I went through all of your lectures regarding writing subtests that were very helpful. Uh, that I got an idea uh, how to start the letter, how to format the letter, what, were, what was the exact requirement, for example, what was the purpose? I should include the purpose, content, concise, and clarity, and all these organization and layout 
i have to uh, keep an eye on all these aspects before, while i'm writing the letter and uh, i use i know i knew it from your lectures that i have to include the relevant information exclude the irrelevant information instead of writing all the stuff so that's the basic idea i got it from your uh, initial uh, recordings the lecture recordings mm -hmm. and then i use the case notes and the case notes are uh, include every type of case notes are available on the website and they are a very uh, big help plus again uh, miss kendall she really helped me out and she really marked my correction and the corrections were as i mentioned they were accurate they were very very close to the real time exam results so i must say that uh, anyone who is looking forward or who is struggling with writing must sus subscribe to your writing prescription at least Thank you very much for your kind words. And uh, yeah, I always tell uh, candidates that getting essential quality feedback on your writing is the only surefire way to make sure you do get to a B. And uh, that involves obviously, as you say, giving comments on all the scoring criteria, helping you to improve the structure of your letter and seeing constant improvements over time until you get to a B. So what would be, you've kind of talked about it already, Yasir, what would be your number one piece of advice to an OET candidate that wants to prepare for their OET exam? Well, uh, <clears throat> Mr. Scott, I, uh, I believe that most of the students uh, who are preparing for the OET exam are struggling with the, or have their concerns regarding the writing subtest. Mm -hmm. Majority of them. And after writing comes the speaking subtest. So, I believe that uh, the best thing that uh, anyone can do uh, while starting the OAT preparation, they should start from the OAT writing subtest. Mm -hmm. They should go through at least all the videos that are available because they will first give you an, an idea that how you will format your test, how and which information you are going to include and what is to be excluded and how you are going to conclude the test. So my piece of advice to everyone who is out there and trying to, or struggling with the writing subtest or is considering to appear in the uh, OAT exams later in this year, is that they first should go through the OAT, or sorry, the writing subtest videos. I would recommend because I have prepared from the swoosh, so I would recommend that the swoosh OAT writing videos are enough to give you an idea. And then followed by the case notes that are available on the website, they will, if anyone writes all the case notes that are available, I can uh, give you guarantee that he can easily get through this exam. Excellent. Followed by the speaking subtest, the speaking sessions, I initially, uh, were for the very first time when I started or when I uh, practiced uh, speaking with one of your teachers, I literally had no idea how to start the conversation. I literally had no idea what to speak and what not to. Mm -hmm. And however, repeat on uh, when I, I listened to the other candidates that were speaking in the same session, then initially I started to gather information that yes, this is uh, I'm lacking in this thing. And your, your teacher was again very helpful. Mm -hmm. She listened whatever I was speaking, and uh, no matter how uh, faulty and how uh, much bits and pieces it were, she was listening to me, and then she corrected me afterwards. So she was very helpful. Mm -hmm. I would recommend that these are the two subtests that require uh, your most of the time. So begin with the writing subtests, go through all the videos that are available on your website, followed by the case notes. Mm -hmm. Start with the case notes that are not that much lengthy so that you gain confidence. And when you're uh, in flow, then you can go on to the ones that are lengthy as well. And do practice speaking with someone who is fluent in English. Mm -hmm. And uh, someone who corrects you afterwards, so you can arrange or you can get a speaking sub subscription as well. And uh, I personally subscribe to the deluxe package that I always tell to my other friends as well. So that includes everything, reading, writing, listening, and uh, speaking as well. So uh, the teachers are available all, all the time, whether it is a speaking uh, subtest or whether it is writing. Plus, there are additional classes as well as I usually get notified through the swoosh that uh, there is an, a webinar going or, or there is an extra class or there is extra material available. Even once I uh, 
emailed one of you, one of your i don't know who i mailed to but i mailed to swoosh that uh, the case notes for doctors i thought that i had written most of the letters so i asked them for some more case notes and they replied me that they have added a few more case notes so that was very um, helpful of them that they uh, instead of ignoring or instead of letting it go they added replied and they added a few more case notes and that was very helpful as well excellent and we do always try our best to keep things updated add new case notes and give as much support to our students yes. as possible which is great thank you for that yasir and one more question for you and it's about uh, the next steps you've now passed the oet exam you and your wife have passed with the help of swoosh english what's next for you now what are your plans now you have your oet passing score well uh, as i've already mentioned that for uh, initially i took ielts twice mm -hmm. my plan was to uh, book lab exam me and my wife have always been uh, to this route but unfortunately since uh, oet was introduced later in in pakistan and we didn't want to go to dubai or any of the other countries so we waited for oet to come to pakistan so as soon as it came and uh, uh, we decided to appear in it so we've always been to the uh, we've always wanted to come to uk and uh, mm -hmm. we planned we have already booked our lab and uh, all thanks to swoosh who let it uh, because it was a dream and if it turns true one of the contributors to it would be swoosh who helped us a lot through our journey with oet because i believe that personally clearing up uh, linguistics test is the most essential part of your journey to uk or ireland as well because uh, most of the students they are struck with 6.5 ielts and that is very nerve wracking and that shatters your confidence uh, too much uh, initially i appeared in 2016 in ielts and then i took I uh, oet in 2019 so it was a gap of 3 years because i didn't have the confidence again to appear in ielts because i was uh, so much blocked in my mind that i will again score a 6.5 mm -hmm. so uh, very helpful of uh, swoosh that it helped me get through with so much ease and uh, i can't be thankful enough to you guys fantastic well i'm so happy to hear that even if it took you a lot longer than you expected to pass your oet you finally got there you're moving on to the next step and well done uh, for passing your oet exam and thank you for choosing swoosh english to thank allow us to help you, you. with your thank exam you. i really appreciate uh, all you've told us today thank you yasir